Hi, my name is Stephen McGee, and I'm the author of Electrical Forensics. And we're here to do a radio frequency tour of a typical American city. And to do that, we're going to use the 10 Mars TM196 radio frequency meter. And I'm going to bring your attention to number four in the book. And it says, we recommend a maximum level of 614 millivolts per meter for prolonged exposure. So remember that number for watching this video as you'll be referencing it to the meter readings. And anything over 614 millivolts per meter on the meter is not recommended for prolonged exposure. And there's actually a lower number. There's another meter. It's called the EM Fields meter. It's an Acousticom 2. And the Acousticom 2 says the following that many people may have symptoms between 100 millivolts per meter and 50 millivolts per meter. And once you start getting above those levels, more and more people get sick. And once you get over 1,000 millivolts per meter, many people are getting sick. So remember that when you're watching this video. So that's a basis for the numbers that we're going to see. And now let's see what's going on in a typical American city with radio frequency exposures.
So as you can see, many places exceeded the 10 Mars recommendation of 614 millivolts per meter for prolonged exposure, and many, many places exceeded 50 to 100 millivolts per meter, which the acoustimeter says is too much for many people. So if you want to find out more about this subject, you'll find it in the book Electrical Forensics. I hope you enjoyed the video and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.